be play, call me that pussy pair. Yeah, that's it. What a pull up in there. Bro, this mosquito bite's serious, bro. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is this the video y'all been waiting for? Is this the motherfucking story time y'all been waiting for? Here it is then. The fuck? I'm not gonna make this long. I know y'all like long story times, but I'm not gonna make this long because it's really not a long story. I beat a bitch ass and that's it. <laughs> The fuck? What else you want to hear? What else you want me to tell you? I beat the ass. I beat it down. What the fuck you talking about? We're getting straight into it. No long talking, yeah? All right. So basically, <laughs> I don't want to tell you guys about this story because when it happened, I was still heated. I was still hot. I was, I'm going to be honest, I was still embarrassed to be completely straightforward with y'all. So I've been holding this in my my safe of story times uh, for a rainy day. And guess what, bitch? It's raining, okay? We in a whole new setting right now. I'm in my room, because I just finished doing a clothing haul, and I didn't feel like bringing the whole camera and the light and all that back into my filming room, so we just gonna do it right here, shadow and all. Don't mind her, she with me. Lipstick gone, all that hair is a mess. Please excuse me. Anyways, let's get straight into it. So this is one of the first fight, yes, one of the, because since last time we talked about fighting anybody, I didn't fight nobody, that was years ago. But bitches really be testing me, they do. They be testing me. But anyways, this is one of the first fights I ever got into, and it was unwarranted. Like, I didn't do nothing except for be a bad bitch. <laughs> like, but bitches be mad when you a bad bitch. You be bad bitch and then bitches be mad. Why don't you be bad too instead of mad? You a mad bitch, not a bad bitch. Be a bad bitch, not a mad bitch, all right? But anyways. All right, so me and my girls, we get cute. We go to the club, we're like, all right, we gonna turn up. I always start at the club, don't it? Don't I always start at the club? I fight always turn at the club, right? But anyways, first of all, we pre-drank. So as always, you drink your liquor at home, you get in the Uber, you're at the club, you're already turned up. You ain't gotta spend no money in the bar. You ain't gotta spend a dime in the bar. Plus you a bad bitch, niggas is buying you drinks. You ain't gotta spend a dime, bitch. And that's on that. Because that same bottle of liquor you drinking at your house is about $700 at the club. I paid $60 for this bitch. I ain't paying no $700 at the club. And that's on period. So we lined up at the club or whatever. And we waiting to get in. Even though they should have just let us in. Because like, pff, the fuck? You can't have bitches waiting in line. Waiting in line is for niggas. But as I'm waiting in line, I look forward and I see this guy. And I'm like, where do I know this guy from? Because I'm drunk. So I, my memory's not all the way there. Like, I don't have all my memory cells. You know what I'm saying? So I'm drunk and I'm like, I know this guy from somewhere. Mind you, I'm in a relationship. So it's not like I'm looking for nobody. It's not like I am like, ooh, who is he? I, I want to know who that is. It wasn't one of those. Like, I looked at him and I was like, I know you from somewhere, just not sure where. Anyways, he goes inside and eventually we go inside as well. We had us a little booth or whatever, but we didn't pay for the booth. Some, like, I think it was my friend's little sugar daddy, her little, her little boops ting. Y'all know what a boops is. It's basically a man that you use for things like money or rides or, you know what I mean? Her little boops ting, like, got a booth with, like, two of his boys and the rest was just me and my girl. So, we had a little booth. I look from afar and I see that same guy and I'm like, where do I know him from? Like, this is someone who I've talked to face to face. Like, I know you know you. This is not someone I've seen on Instagram or Facebook, like I know this person. I've talked to you, like who are you? So I tell my girl, my girl come with me. I need to get a little bit closer. I need to know who this is because it's bothering me. Like it's boggling my brain right now. He's on the dance floor. He's just like with his boys drinking in a cup or whatever. So he turns around while I'm walking towards him and I look in his face and I'm like, oh shit. I used to work with this nigga at Walmart. Like me and this nigga was like, this is like the only nigga at Walmart that I like. Like, when I say liked, I mean like he was cool or whatever. This is the only nigga I liked at Walmart. Like, what's up? We're gonna call him TJ, okay? So I go up to TJ and I'm like, yo, what's good, TJ? You, what, it was popping? Like, I haven't seen you in so long. Like, it's been years, the way. TJ turns around and listen. <laughs> I just gotta be honest right here. I've blown up. I've blown up, then blown up, then blown up, then blown up. So from my days at Walmart to my days at Sephora, like I blew up. I learned how to do my makeup. My hair was applied better. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when TJ turned around now, TJ did one of these. TJ said, oh shit, yo, what's up? What's good? Yo, what's good? And came in for a little hug. I ain't got no problem with that. Like, I got my man at home or whatever, and I'm allowed to hug man. Why can't I hug another man? There's no problem with hugging another man as long as we not touching lips or any other body parts. Like, we good. So, I gave him a little hug back. I 
after I gave him that, I'm sorry I'm screaming. It's one of those videos, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm listening to myself scream, and I hear it echoing all the way downstairs. I apologize. But before I could let go of the hug with TJ, before I could even, like, lean back to the, you know, I was like, look, my... My lipstick all fucked up and shit. No, forget. Pretend you didn't see that. But before I could even let go of TJ from the hug, I feel somebody grab my wig and pull me back. But my wig is always a curve, okay? My wig is never loose. I've never worn a loose wig, okay? It's, so it ain't going nowhere. So when I felt someone do this, and pull my hair back, my wig didn't come off. You ain't about to see my straight backs. You ain't about to see these corn rows. No, you not, bitch. But what you are gonna see is me falling on the ground because that was a that was a pretty sturdy pull you did there. And uh, my wig is on straight and tight, so I am gonna fall on the ground. So <laughs> she pulled me and I fell down like that. I have to show you guys everything, okay? I ain't got the energy, okay? But she pulled me and I fell on the ground. And when I fell on the ground now, I was a little dazed. I was in daze because it hurt. But I was dazed because I was like, what the fuck? What was that? Like, I don't understand. What was that? I don't know what just happened. I was like, I didn't do nothing to nobody, so there's no way a bitch trying to fight me. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So as I'm on the floor now, TJ and my friend who I went to TJ with are like helping me up. And I'm like, what was that? Like, who did that? Cause you know, like I said, I'm a little, I'm, I'm drunk at the same time. So I look over my shoulder and I see a group of like guys and girls holding this one ratchet ugly bitch back. And she has her arms like this, and she like kicking, like she trying to reach for me. She kicking, trying to reach for me. And I'm like, the fuck wrong with this hoe? Like, what's going on with her? Is she on a perk? Like, I don't understand why she's acting like this right now. That is heroin. That is heroin. I've never seen such a thing. This is outrageous. Animal behavior. I don't, I don't get it. And when I say she was ratchet, like, I have to explain to y'all what I mean by her. I like, you guys know me and my story times. I explain everything, every detail. I want y'all to know who attacked me. I'm gonna even, I'm gonna even describe TJ, bitch. I don't give a damn. So nobody can say nothing about race. We gonna talk about it all. TJ's a black guy. He got really, really, did I say CJ? I meant TJ. TJ's a black guy with really, really long um, braids. He's light skinned, skinny, don't know how to dress. But he's cool, like he's cool people. Like he's really, he's chill. Like I like him, He's he has a good vibe, a good aura about him. Now this girl who pulled me on the ground and I'm laying flat down, she was this white girl. She had gold grills in her mouth. My eyelashes are long, but her eyelashes was long, okay? She was in like a rainbow dress, bitch. I don't know who go to the club in a rainbow dress. Never heard of that in my life. That's why I say it's heroin because who told you to make that decision before leaving the house? I don't know. But um, that's what they look like, okay? So now when I get up and I see her trying to kick for me and trying to like reach for me, I'm like, what the fuck's going on with this hoe? Like, what's really good? So I'm just looking at her from afar like, what the fuck? And laughing with my friend like, what the fuck? She somehow gets loose from these people's hands trying to hold her back. I don't know if she like pretended like she was good. Like, I'm good, I'm good. But all I saw after that was this. Coming straight at me. I said, and punched her right on the side of her face. And she just, You know what I mean? She literally tried to hit me again, and she was moving. I don't know if it's because I was drunk, or maybe because she was drunk. I don't know what the real conclusion of why this happened was, but everything was in slow motion. That's why I was able to even dodge the punch and punch her in her face. Because she literally came at me like, like that's how I saw it. So I was like, this bitch moving so as fuck. Look out of here. And I punched her in her face. At this point, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Bitch, I don't even, I don't even know who this bitch is. I don't know why she mad. I don't know why her, her wig, yeah, she was wearing a wig. I don't know why her wig sitting up like that. Like, I don't know, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. I'm just, I'm just at the club. I'm just trying to turn up. I'ma buy you a drink, like, I'm just having fun. So when I punched her now, she was like dazed a little, cause I gave her like a hefty punch. She was dazed a little, and she tried to grab for my hair again from the top. Little do you know, I got the got to be spray right at the top there. You ain't got nothing to grip, honey. You ain't got nothing to grip. You can't grip this, your finger will slip right down. You better grab for this, can't grab the top. It's not gonna work. The top is hot. It's crispy up here. Sorry. So she tried to grab for my hair, but instead I grabbed her hair. When I pulled her hair now, wig in my hand. Imagine that. And at this point, I was like, this bitch better not pull off my wig, cause it's gonna actually be some problems. There's no way I'm gonna be up in this club with straight backs. 
I'm not doing that. Never done that before. In any fight, has no one ever taken off my wig. We're not doing that. It's not gonna happen, okay? So I had a wig in my hand, and instead of letting go of the wig, I just used the wig and was throwing her punches with a damn wig, still in my hand. Now her homegirl wants to step in and try to throw a drink at me, an alcoholic beverage at me, bitch. And it landed right here, like it was like a glass full of like Grey Goose or something, but it wasn't a lot, so just like a little bit came right here. I said, like, I can, I can use another shot. What you mean? Sure, thank you. The fuck you thought that was gonna do? My homegirl now, she saw that happen. Now they fighting. Now they fighting. And I'm over here like, I'm fighting this bitch, but you better not touch my homegirl. But my homegirl whooping that ass. So I ain't got, like, we good over here. You get what I'm saying? Everything's good and crispy over here. Because she handling her business, I'm handling mine. The fuck? Whoop that hoe. <laughs> and I didn't even know I could fight like that. I had no clue I could fight like that. I didn't even know what I was fighting for. I didn't even know why I was fighting this girl. I, I had no clue, none. So as I'm beating her up now, I drop her wig because I'm like, this wig is giving a little bit of a soft impact. Like I'm trying to have you feel all my knuckles, like all, all five of my knuckles, include the thumb, include the thumb, like, but you know, everything, I want you to feel it all. So I let go of her wig, and when I let go of her wig, she stepped on the wig and she slipped and she fell backwards. I said, bitch, this is my lucky day. This is my lucky day, hold up. <laughs> What you mean? I put my knees right by her neck and I was just feeding. I was feeding her like she was my newborn baby girl. Just feeding her with punches. She was full because <laughs> all of a sudden I feel like the motherfucking Hulk, that green nigga. I feel like he just picked me up and I'm still kicking and throwing my punches and shit, but I feel the Hulk pick me up and I'm drunk. So by the time I blinked, I was outside. I said, hold up, how the fuck I get here? I don't even understand. I look to my right and my girlfriend's also outside and I see who's lifting her up. It's, it's the Hulk again. A big ass bodyguard who has way too much muscles. There's no reason for anyone to be that deezed. For what? What do you need that for? You're a brick house, sir. You're literally a condo. Calm down, take a break in the gym. It's all good, like you're too big. No reason for that, unnecessary. Anyways, so I'm talking to my friend like, did we really just get kicked out of the club? Did we really just get kicked out of the club? When I look to the door, the same girl's coming out. The fucking Hulk is pulling her out too, out of the club. And he just left her outside. Didn't even say, y'all don't fight. None of that. Just left her outside. But she ain't got none of her friends with her. It's just me and my girl. And I'm not for jumping people. So I was like, I'm not gonna fight her now. I already whooped that ass. I already beat that ass. When I say beat that ass, I mean her lip was busted. Her wig was off of her head. She even have a wig in her hand when she left. Like the wig is somewhere on the floor in the club. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she slipped and hit her head or if I hit her, but when she came out the club, she had a big ass cocoa right here. Listen, if someone has a cocoa after a fight, do you know how long it usually takes for a cocoa to come up on your head? That's a hard hit. It's a hard hit. And bitch, I came out pretty. Shit, my edges was still laid. My clothes was still on me correctly. Her dress was ripped right here, bitch. Like, she wasn't even trying. How you gonna try and start a fight with a bitch and then you end up looking a mess and she end up best dressed? Like, I don't get it. So me and my girl outside and we're looking at her, I'm like, yo, what the What's your problem? Like, what's good? Why the fuck are you trying to fight me for? Like, I'm discussing it. Like, what the fuck was that for? I don't fucking know you from nowhere, bitch. Then she replies to me, you're fucking my man. I know you're fucking my man. You think I don't know about you? You think I don't fucking know about you, Cassandra? Who the fuck is Cassandra? Who the fuck is... Cassandra? Who the fuck is Cassandra? I'm not Cassandra. Do I look like a Cassandra to you? Bitch, do I look like a Cassandra to you? Try again. Start to the P. It's the name of a city. It's Paris, ho. Recognize and believe it. So TJ comes out the club now, and he looks like he's in a panic. He's calling her name. Let's pretend her name is Tammy. He's like, yo, Tammy, what the fuck are you doing, man? What's your problem? Tammy goes on to say, you think I don't know who the fuck she is? That's Cassandra. She's the one texting your phone. I saw her picture. That's her. That's her. I said, bitch, my name is not Cassandra. My name is Paris. Nice to meet you. With my hand out and everything. I said, nice to meet you. She ignored my handshake like I thought she would. And then she proceeds to argue with TJ. TJ then comes up to me a little while later. I already called my Uber at this point because I tried to go back in the club. The bouncer was like, you got in a fight. You can't come back in. I was like, bitch, I just got in. Like, we just got in. We just, we was in the lab for 45 minutes and we just got in and I can't get back in. Like, really, nigga? I'm about to be drunk for no reason outside downtown Toronto for nothing. Like, come on, man. Just let me in there. I'm not gonna fight no one else. She fought me. I'm not, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. The fuck? Oh, my highlight is popping. <laughs> What's up? Ah. Okay, anyways. So we called the Uber. TJ 
comes up to me after her friends like separate her from me like they're in a corner somewhere in the alley whatever talking tj comes up to me he's like yo i'm so sorry paris you have no clue how sorry i am yo my girl's crazy she's insane she thinks you're this girl shows me a picture of some some girl who's not even the same race as me like you have to be beyond drunk belligerent heroin okay that's how i feel it's some sort of hard narcotic because I looked at the girl and I was like, I'm I'm not Hispanic, but I'm not Hispanic. I'm 100% nigga. So I don't understand. Anyways, he was like, she thought this was you. It doesn't even look like you. I don't know what's wrong with her. And I'm not even fucking this girl. And he starts proceeding to tell me about the whole thing. And I'm like, listen, TJ, save it. Cause honestly, I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, I still look cute. No scratches on my face. My elbow hurt a little bit, but I think that's cause I bounced it off of the bar. But that was about the only injury that I had in that's on God. I would not lie to y'all. Like, my elbow was a little sore for a few days. That was it. She, her whole everything that she came with was sore. I promise you that. But regardless, we had to go home. We brought our asses home. I fell asleep within the next 15 minutes. And that's about it. <laughs> to be honest. That's that's why I said the story's not gonna be long. Because I fought a bitch. I beat her ass and that was it. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. All that is in the description box down below for your convenience. Leave a comment down below and let me know the first fight you ever had in your life. I want to hear about it. All the details. Make it juicy, okay? Love you guys so much. Don't gotta tell you twice. And I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> Bye!